<coughs> Hi everybody and thank you for watching my video demonstration of the Yamaha GT20 as made famous by Coldplay. Not sure why I'm speaking like this. Let's try and get normal. Um, I don't really know much about the GT20 but we, we took one in part exchange against an acoustic Yamaha. So I'm making this video for um, to help anyone who wants to buy it. If you have any questions, I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I don't really know much about it. But at the end of the video, I'll show you what ins and out connections it has as well. All right, let's see what it sounds like if we switch to that camera angle. quite enough of that but I'll just show you the reverb I've turned the reverb to maximum so that's reverb maximum this is reverb medium this is reverb off That's enough waffle. I'll now grab my other camera and show you around the piano to show you what features it has. Are we on this one? We are. Down here we have the control unit thing. Power on, very basic unit. Two headphones, they're the full size jacks, so you need to get a, a, a connection for that if you're using a mini jack. And around the side of that unit, you can see there, you can change the pitch. 440 is the standard, but you can change it in case you're playing with a flat flute or whatever. Round the back. Andals. We've got andals for carrying it. Standard power lead, nice and easy. Figure of eight power. Down here, you've got MIDI in and out to, contact, to connect with the computer and things. Do clever things with a laptop. So you can change the voice to anything. This thing only has one voice but you can change the voice to unlimited voices using MIDI. Over here, which is where Coldplay used the auxiliary out to power the arena stadium tours. Augs in. I don't know what you would use an augs in for. I guess you can play stuff. I guess you can play an external orchestra on a mini disc through that and play along with it. Anything else? Nothing on that side of interest. Just to show you the speaker unit under here. That one's, oh yeah, it's a circle there. And the circle thing there. Two pedals, one is soft, one is sustain. You can lift this lid. I don't know how you lift the lid. I guess you have to remove some screws. But I've, you see people on YouTube playing it with the lid off. So there's some screws at the back, so you can do that. And inside it has the hammers. So I'm gonna stop waffling right about now. Any questions? Like I say, by the, chan by the time you've seen this video, most people, it'll be the year like 2033, and they'll be asking me questions, but I'll be like, mate, I sold it eight years ago, don't ask me any questions. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. It's been emotional. I think we've really bonded over this video and uh, I hope to see you in real life at some point because I really think we've hit it off and uh, I think we should get to know each other a bit more and uh, I'm going to go now. <laughs>